Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arctalad 3, where before I actually had to Atero Isle to potentially finish the game, although, I mean, it's the, the final job, but I suppose there might be a little bit more after that. Anyway, I was told to check out uh, a little scene in Henrietta's home here, now that we have her in our party. Miss Henrietta! Hello, Sebastian. I'm so happy that you've returned, Miss... Mr. Rochefort! Miss Henrietta is home! Huh. Okay. Father is not often home, so it's a bit of a surprise. Is Daddy home from work already? It looks like it. Yep. Oh, my dear Henrietta! Daddy! Sebastian told me that you ran away, dear. Why would you do such a thing? I'm sorry, Daddy, I... Ah, you're Hunter Alec, aren't you? Yes. Sebastian told me that you failed to bring my sweet daughter back. Well, that's a matter of interpretation, but yeah, I guess. Father! It wasn't Alex's fault. I forced him to let me accompany him. Shh, I'm talking to Alec, Henrietta. But... Alec, I was going to pay you a handsome reward if you brought back my daughter. Um, yeah, like 630 gauze, right? Thanks again for that most generous offer, sir. Unfortunately, you threw that away. Sir, that doesn't really matter too much. I mean, if you had made it like 700, I would have seriously considered. Alec! Henrietta is our companion now. Is that companionship valuable enough to lose that reward without regret? Yes. <laughs> tsk, tsk, tsk. I'm disappointed in you, young man. You're quite foolish. Father! You'll never amount to anything as a manager. Uh, well, that's too bad. Wait, no, it's not. I wasn't going to. I'm afraid I can't accept you as my heir. What? You're a terrible manager, but a good hunter. Yeah, and? And you're a good friend to my daughter. What the hell was that all about? Daddy? <laughs> my Henrietta is a little selfish, but she has a good heart. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that. I hope it'll actually show show one day. <clears throat> Mr. Rochefort. Thank you, Daddy. Ah, Henrietta, I know you've been lonely all this time while I've been busy. I'll try to be home more often, waiting for the day you come back. Daddy. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, I guess. Yes, thank you, Daddy. Don't stay away too long. I'll visit again soon. Um... You might be misunderstanding things, sir. Just saying. Oh well. Sir, are you certain letting her go is the right thing to do? Yes, I believe my wife would want me to let her go. Really? Yes, as you know, Mrs. Rushfor was just as stubborn. She was a beautiful woman, and Henrietta is becoming more like her every day. I'm just sorry I didn't assist you in bringing Henrietta up to be less selfish. You have done a sterling job, Sebastian. Any failure here is mine. I would hope that you continue to uh, continue to work here at Rochefort Manor, even though Henrietta is gone. Sir, where else would I go? Well, to the employment office. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> With that, we can now finally, or at long last, return to Etero Isle and the Trial Cave, where it all began, one might say. Well, almost. It is the first dungeon we ever entered. It might actually be the fir very first job we ever accepted. Or was it even a an official job? I mean, it was technically before we even were real hunters. Huh. Well, the exact details don't matter. Or so I've decided. Would you please just... Oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know why navigation in this game is so... There's so much trouble. It really must be something about this game, because I don't have nearly as much trouble... Uh, like, controlling... Other games... That are grid-based, like this one. It's something weird about the movements. Anyway... Yeah, there'll be a lot of these... I don't know, mid-level, 
not completely trivial, but also not exciting combats. Uh, so that Theo here. Oh, also, uh, levels, especially in Raiders level, might be a bit different from last time. Uh, I had to uh, redo the entire last mission, uh, the dragon catching one. Unfortunately, in addition to, well, not having been able to record due to my sickness, um, which further added to the gap in videos, for which I apologize. Um, yeah, I want to take Mars here now. <clears throat> I will still try to remember uh, actually using Theo for the final combat or some important looking combat where it feels appropriate to use the um, Ultima card to see what that looks like. Right. I mean, it's not like I need Marcia here, but I kind of want to end this combat fast. I also don't know which way to actually go. Uh, I know that this was the way down to the second level, um, where I uh, where I caught the water dragon. Was it water? Well, yeah, one of the dragons. I don't know what was this way. I assume it was just um, optional. I mean, technically, we've seen the the layout of this cave already during the early stages of this game. And the combats, while certainly upgraded from what we must have fought here originally, um, are not really uh, well, challenging or really hardly worth mentioning, let alone showing on camera. So I guess I might as well make a cut here and try to find my way to where I'm supposed to go, unless something more exciting happens along the way. I guess that's probably better for everyone involved. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. It's also gonna um, be better for my voice if I uh, talk a bit less. So, there's that. Uh, yeah, see you in a second. Okay, and we're back with a little surprise. I guess this counts as something exciting happening. We are facing a single enemy. You can guess. What might it be? Oh, okay. I'm gonna show you. It's an actual Ultima. No, I did not expect this. Uh, this thing looks appropriately strong. I guess that also means that you can catch more. And they're not, in fact, unique. Which I guess is good. Uh, of course, now I don't have Thea with me. I have two more spaces in my party. I guess I could have picked him if I had actually thought about this more, but... Oh well, let's see if we can successfully uh, paralyze it. No. Okay. Well, I mean, it does have a lot of hit points, so I might, might as well <clears throat> go ahead and uh, get some actual damage going here. Um, or not. Huh, I wonder if it's just specifically vulnerable to water. Well, only half the points. Of course I would prefer to get the killing blow with Henrietta just for the biggest possible boost in experience. Should be okay attacking. Once more, uh, we're getting into dangerous territory comes to counter attacks. Should be okay. Okay. <clears throat> no danger of countering here. But it might also be too powerful to finish off. Yeah, most likely. Um, I suppose platinum pressure usually deals the most damage here. Yeah, but he is... He, he must be specifically magic resistant or something. But so long as we remove Velhart... I mean, uh, right now? He's down to 48, yeah, so... Henrietta's attack is definitely going to finish him up. But so long as we remove everyone who could potentially counter... It 
so long as he doesn't kill Henrietta, which he didn't. <clears throat> okay. That's another ruby laser. Um, and of course that turns out to be the one spell that doesn't deal enough damage, which I probably should have known, considering I've used it before. I didn't pay attention to the damage, apparently. Well, nothing has changed. Should still be going for her. I mean, at this point, might as well go ahead and slap him or kick him or whatever she actually does. Okay, only one level up from that. Meh. I'll take it. Well, that was interesting. Um, I'm not sure where this leads, although there is a path after this. Hmm. Wait. Ah, okay. Right, we do have a save and recovery point here. This way? Because I'm pretty sure um, north of the save room is where it continues. Was this actually... I mean, there was a, a crossroads before. And I chose to go left. This might actually loop back to it? Um, okay. This looks like there is water missing or something. Ah, yes, okay, this uh, seems to be the crossroads, indeed. Interesting. And no fight at all on this side? Huh. Well. I mean, I appreciate it, I suppose. And I'm glad we actually got to see the Ultima in action. <clears throat> so down here... Okay. Well then. I mean, I guess I should have made another cut and not really recorded this aimless wandering. I mean, not really aimless, but still, uneventful, uh, une uneventful wandering. Um. Well, I guess I saved just before the game. The ghost dream crystal is in here. Yeah, or so they say. Whoa, this is like deja vu all over again. Yeah, I guess so. I had almost forgotten how beautiful the Ghost Dream Crystal was. Look at all the small crystals growing from the main one. It's so beautiful. That would make a fantastic chandelier for the dining room at Rushford Manor. Yeah. I believe I've heard the legend of why this is called the Ghost Dream Crystal. Is there really a ghost inside? I don't think so. The Guildmaster just said it was a guardian. The legend talks about it containing the hopes of the hopes and dreams of humanity. Well, there's one way to find out for certain. To smash it? Oh, uh, let's try lining up the four materials we collected near it and see what happens. Sure, that's that would be would have been my second guess. Good idea, Alec. Um, Valhart, the Eternal Steel. Um, certainly. Oh, had we actually seen a sprite for that before? Hmm. Theo, next we need the branch from the Eternal Tree. Right. Then the Eternal Ice Morse, yeah? Of course. Now, Lutz and Cheryl, the Eternal Flame. I've got it. Give that to me. 
Well, that's everything. <clears throat> we have gathered Eternal Steel, the Eternal Tree, Eternal Ice, and the Eternal Flame. Guardian within the Crystal, we ask for your blessing to create a new arc. After a long and difficult journey, you who seek the Ark have finally come before the Crystal. Who are you? I am the intermediary between humans and the Guardians within this Crystal. Okay. Please, tell them we desperately need to meet them. It is possible to... It is possible to meet them. Oh, that's good to know. However, only souls apart from their bodies may enter the Crystal. Unfortunately, there is no guarantee you can return to your body. If your desire to meet the Guardians overcomes your concern for self, approach the crystal. Uh, no, thanks. Wait, what? Alec, what are you doing? I can't move. Sorry, everybody. I have to do this alone. I hope you understand. Alec, it is too dangerous. I'll be right back. Alec, Alec! No, you can't leave me behind. Alec! What? And we just walked into the freaking crystal? That makes no sense. Hmm. Well, I mean, technically, I guess it doesn't make any more or less sense than just giving up your spirit or your body or whatever. And uh, to go talk to some uh, bodiless guardians or, or something. If he doesn't come back, I'm going to be super upset. Uh, super upset? Where did that come from? <laughs> Very upset. <clears throat> he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Well, no. If you believe in your companion, he will return to you exactly as he departed. Hmm. Oh. A crystal domain. Oh, hey, I know those guys. Alec, you have shown the selfless resolve of a true hero. You are blessed to have such good friends to accompany you on this journey. Who are you? There is no time to waste on such trivial matters. I must summon the guardians at once. Oh, so that's the intermediary. Or are you both? How does that work? Guardians, it is time to summon the strength to show yourselves! Huh, <laughs> yep, there they are. Goofy looking as always. I have come before you because the Dark One is trying to return once more. We need to create a new arc in case the Academy succeeds in unleashing it. There is no need to tell us your purpose. We have read your thoughts. Oh, well, that's convenient. And... Awkward. You have finally connected our two worlds once again, using only a heart pure of intent and a will of steel. We shall entrust you with the Ark you, requ uh, with the ark you require to save your world. Really? Yes. However... Though the Ark has the ability to seal the Dark One, it is your power that determines if it will. It is up to you and your friends. What does that mean? You shall see. It is time for you to return. Um, well, you could have been a bit more specific. You know, considering that the fate of the world hangs on this. It is up to us? What else could we possibly need? <laughs> what? The answer to that should already be clear to you. I'm afraid it's not. Alec, we have been we have been watching your journey from the start. Really? Yes, through the crystal you were through the crystal you wear about your neck. Oh. My hunter's crest crystal? Oh, again, awkward. Alec! Alec! Come back, Alec! Or whoever is saying that. Come back to me! Your friends fear for your life. It is time to return to them. We shall continue to watch you from the crystal. Okay. Be strong. 
The future lies in your hands. I'll do my best. As much as you were, Ark. Eager to embrace his destiny and save the world. Yes, the world has produced a new hero to safeguard life itself. And so the time has come to leave this in his hand in his hands and embrace our future together. Hey, I thought you were gonna keep watching. Or not. Fine by me. Here he is again. Good as new. Alec! 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 Alec, it's so good to see you! I was uh, a little worried. I heard you all calling, for, calling out for me. It's how I was able to find my way back. What did you discover within the crystal then? We have the blessing of the guardians. A new arc will be created. If we stand back, we can watch the creation of it. They didn't specifically say that, but... Cutscene? Yeah, nice. It's a bit smaller than I would have thought, but I guess it'll be it'll do the job. Wow, that was incredible! The Ark! We finally did it! Well, not quite. The Dark One doesn't stand a chance! Soon that statement shall be put to the test. Do not be overconfident in unproven futures. Arc received. Just like that. Alright, everybody. Now that we have the means to seal up the Dark One, we need to get into the Sky Castle. Oh, Alec, I love it when you take control. Uh, we'd better visit Elk. Hopefully he's fixed the Yen by now. I mean, he did have ample time for that. Yes, but first we need to report the completion of this job to the Guild. Perhaps they'll have the status of Elk's repairs too. Let's go. Final job completed. Who would have thought it? <clears throat> oh, okay. Let us do that, I guess. Wow, this did not take very long at all. Even if I... I mean, I really only pause recording for the duration of... One? Two combats. Yeah, two combats. <clears throat> so, even if I had recorded everything, we wouldn't... Would probably not be at half an hour. Well, we'll see what the uh, what the guildmaster has to say. Maybe go talk to Elk too, but I'm go probably gonna uh, save the final bit of the game. Well, the, what I suppose is gonna be the final dungeon and final boss fight for the next episode. Maybe the next two episodes. Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be super long. <clears throat> Right. Okay. Yep. This completely superfluous little ritual every single time. Oh well. Victory music! Hunter Alec, I see that you've completed the arc! Yes. There it is. It's amazing! Now humans possess the power to seal the Dark One again! Great job! There is hope for the world again! All that is required now is to go to Ragnarok and ride to the Sky Castle. Have you heard if Elk fixed the airship yet? We have sent him all supplies requested, but have heard no word. Hmm. We'll have to head to Ragnarok and hope he's finished then. Unfortunately, there is nothing else we can do to assist you. This final task lies squarely on your shoulders. 
Good luck, Anne. Uh, we shall do everything within our means to save this world. <clears throat> Trust that we will return with a good report. Um, I won't let anyone down, least of all myself. This is for my mother. The world's as good as saved already. I just want a big party when when we pull this off. I mean, I guess you, you all deserve that, at least. With me, Alec and the others, nothing is impossible. Especially me, of course. Well, we're off then. It is out of our hands now. I wish them good luck. We're going to need it. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm really surprised they don't actually have a final... one final job. Seal the Dark One. I mean, why is that? Well, I guess I can also... <clears throat> turn in the final job, huh? Might be my last chance to do that. Don't want to go without my 1,000 gas bounty. Uh, took items to Crystal Room and entered the Crystal. Guardians were summoned by an intermediary between Guardians and Humans. Approval for new arc and granted. Job complete. So close to... What, a thousand? Oh. Well. <clears throat> I wonder if you could have... Uh, if there would have been enough merits with the two jobs we didn't complete. Hmm. Well. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and talk to... What's his face? Elk. I mean, maybe he has trouble fixing the Hien and we might have to do something else to help him? I kind of feel like it's gonna be ready. And, uh, well, we'll see. <clears throat> Oh, that's not the way. Oh, hey. Looks fixed to me. But I guess it looked like this before, didn't it? Alec, we're back! Alec, good. I heard word that you completed the arc. Is that correct? Yes, we finally finished it. That is good news. It was really hard to collect the four eternal items. That's why it took so long. Once the Guardians blessed our effort, we were able to create a new arc. You met the Guardians? Yes, it was a strange and wonderful experience. I had, I had to leave my body. That's a very dangerous undertaking. I'm astonished you survived. There was no choice. I had to do it to get the arc to seal the Dark One. Speaking of which, how are the repairs to the hand going? I think I've got this patched up well enough to fly. I'm sure Lynx could have done a better job, but this will do. So, it is ready to depart for the Sky Castle then? Yeah, we can leave right now if you're, if you're all ready. Okay, um, well, I mean, I don't know if I, if I'll have the chance to leave once I, well, leave the, the Sky Castle once I'm, once I've arrived. But honestly, I don't. I can't really think of a reason to to want to go back at this point. So, I might as well. Sure. <clears throat> this is going to be very dangerous. The Sky Castle undoubtedly has shields around it. It also appears that debris caught in the field is circling it. Um, you're not trying to tell me there is going to be a mini game to to reach the final dungeon, is there? We don't know what's waiting for us there. And we might not be able to return. Hmm. Well. You need to make sure you're prepared for what's ahead. Still go to the Sky Castle. Well, I mean, this is a... This is a classical last warning point of no return. But, uh, as I said, I mean... I've done all the jobs I could do. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, complete any of the lists. The monster or item lists. 
I'm not that much of a completionist. And, uh, well, other than that, I can't think of anything I might have left to do, so sure, let's just go ahead. We're ready to stop this madness before it gets out of hand. Yes, the people of this world have put that, uh, their trust in us. We cannot retreat now. Every living thing is depending on us. We are the only ones that can do this, and so there is no choice in the matter. With my friends, I can do anything. Let's go show evil the door. This is all so exciting. Alright, Elk. You heard the guys. Let's get up there. Alright. Everyone on board the Hien, then. Elk joined the party. Nice. Two cutscenes in one video. That's rare. What exactly are we looking at here? Oh, I guess those are just supposed to be clouds. Yeah, it looked like a like some kind of rock wall or tunnel. This is too rough. <sighs> Damn it! This is much more turbulence than I expected. Will we will we make it to the sky castle? It would take a miracle. Then make one. All right, guys. This is it. Do or die time. Hang on. We... something. Uh-oh. Uh... well, that was... Okay. Thank, uh, thank goodness we have these uh, anchors. <laughs> that crash was a little bit... Uh, undignified. <laughs> alright, the anchor cables are in. Everyone still alright? Eh... Mostly. Fire! The hands on fire! Look! I'm turning the winch to maximum. Then we hit the castle. Uh, when we hit the, the castle, jump! Hurry! It's going to explode! Well, thankfully, no minigame. We just all make it. Stand back! I'm cutting the can loose! And yet another cutscene. Or FMV. Oh, a very short one. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, am I the only one that didn't like that part? I was sure we were finished. I, I certainly will not port a device of that kind again. Bounce aside, is everyone alright? Yes, but the Hien. We have no choice now to know but to succeed. Let's get this done then. You heard her. Let's go. Right. And this is where I'm gonna end this episode. I'm gonna start exploring the final dungeon. And depending on how large it is, maybe finish it next time finish the, whole, the entire game and the entire series next time. I mean, the, the first trilogy. I know there is a fourth game and technically also a fifth, although I've not decided whether I want to play that one. I've heard bad things about it. But we'll see about that. I'm definitely going to play the next game, although it's uh, not too closely related to the pr first three as far as I know. But anyway, um, I can talk more about that maybe after I've actually beaten this game. So we'll see how that turns out. As always, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.